Hello and welcome to another episode of Milk Float TV, broadcasting from the back of Bluebell the Milk Float. We're here with singer-songwriter Douglas Joshua, who's going to play us some songs today. Um, you're playing the original first, aren't you, Doug? Yes. Yeah. So uh, this one is very new. Um, yeah. It's still kind of being moulded um, at the moment. Uh, yeah. So it's very fresh. I haven't, the best I haven't performed ones. this before. They're yeah. the best ones to play, <laughs> play to people, I think, though. Because yeah. you get the best kind of feedback, don't you? Yeah, especially in this sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Shall I go ahead? Yeah. yeah.
Thank you. That was fantastic. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, one of my oh. um, favourite things I picked up from that, there was a great line about it, was an oak tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and like, mm -hmm. is that something that in your writing you do quite a bit, like you do reference nature to the, um, kind of bring it back to kind of your own life? Um, I suppose so. I suppose so. I mean, in that context, <clears throat> it's more of, um, I mean, f building the song up, it's about, um, uh, well, it was inspired by 100 years since women had the vote. Oh. And um, so it's, it's talking about <clears throat> this sort of inspirational female figures and um, I sort of built up some things lyrically uh, from that and yeah a big uh, image that I had was you know of, of a woman just kind of st standing tall and proud yeah. and and yeah that that imagery was kind of popped to mind and yeah, yeah I, I guess I do refer to nature quite quite a bit in in some tech context but, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was wondering because you, I know you're like a multi instrumentalist and uh, cellist mm. and things, and I wondered about this like beautiful kind of um, melody, and I wondered how you wrote the melody. Did you just did you just sing it, or did you sit down and kind of write notes for it? And yeah, um, <clears throat> it's more recently I've been um, melody orientated, so melody comes first, and the words uh, are fit to that. Um, which is quite difficult sometimes right, uh, yeah. to do it that way yeah. around. Um, and it's, <clears throat> I think it's more kind of maybe more productive to do it the other way around, but, yeah. uh, but I, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I will noodle around with an idea and <clears throat> have, yeah, a melody will pop in, but, um, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's melody oriented first and then, yeah, the lyrics come yeah. second to that. Uh, yeah. Mm. Does you, do you, does your cello playing influence your writing at all? Because I was reading that, like James Taylor was originally a cellist, and he writes his right. guitar lines in terms of like the bass notes first. He thinks because he was a cellist, he writes the bass notes first. Yeah. That's yeah, just exactly, what comes to him exactly. naturally. And um, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. I'm, so, I'm always, uh, I'm always hitting yeah, the, you're like the obviously notes recovering first, yeah. cellist. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's, it's really oh. works. It's yeah, un unusual chords and oh, sort yeah. of voicings and mm. that are really lovely. But yeah, yeah uh, I believe you got a songwriting tip for us as well. So yes. Do you want to just um, or, um have great, you, where have I put it? Just, <laughs> you, you <laughs> you right. Right. Oh, <laughs> cool. Mean it. Be honest and believe what you're singing. I think that's um, that's the most important thing. I mean, it's uh, it's more a performance tip, I suppose, but um, it can influence your if if you find a subject matter that you're really strongly passionate about and mm -hmm. that is true in your life, and um, then I think it, it, you know that'll come across as a stronger performance and a stronger yeah. song for it. Yeah. Um, so Definitely, yeah, I, yeah, that's that's my. What was it about tip. women's rights that really like kind of struck you to write that <clears> song? Because it's a very powerful piece. Um, um, I don't know. It's just it's something that I've um, been uh, more and more um, passionate about in the yeah. last few years. And yeah. um, I thought as, you know, uh, the 100 years anniversary yeah, was right. an appropriate yeah. <laughs> time to make a statement about yeah. that. And, yeah. um, and it's such a unique subject matter, but you've yeah. done it so well. It's like a wonderful, oh. yeah, wonderful Thank piece. You. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> And now I believe you've got a cover song you're going to play for us as well. So, yes. yeah, what are you going to play? So, um, we're going to play <clears throat> Grey Room by Damien Rice, um, which is a yeah, personal favourite of mine. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Let's get for Desolate 
people find you online and what have you got going on at the moment uh, like with so music? yeah uh, Douglas Joshua on Facebook and Instagram um, and I've got uh, my first, my debut <clears throat> single coming out yep. on 30th of May uh, with a gig in Comedia <clears throat> to support that brilliant and so that's <clears throat> what I'm working on at the moment and, yeah uh, 
Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, well, I've had a little preview of one of the two songs, and it sounded amazing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. really look yeah, forward yeah. to hearing it when it comes yeah. out. Thank and, you. Yeah. Great. Uh, well, thanks yeah, ever so much for coming so along today. Really appreciate it. Better. It's been really yeah. lovely listening, and yeah. yeah, and we'll see you next time. Over and out from Upflow yeah. HQ. Bye. Bye.